No drinking. Hello everybody, this is Voltage Development here and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial video for Unity game development stuff and uh, if you just saw the uh, result thing of uh, the baldy movement thing, yeah that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. I've tried to do this before and it was a very 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 buggy but I have found out how to do it and it's going to be a little bit complicated to explain but we will get there uh, very very uh, goodly I guess so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to place my first person character over here now this is, this is the same map level that we used for the flashlight power system so we're going to make a well actually we could just make a 3D cube. Yes, make a 3D cube, and you know what? Let's just make it five on the Y. Wait, I mean scale five on the Y. Oh Jesus Christ, no, uh, two. Yeah, that, that's actually pretty good, actually. Yep, there we go. Cool. Okay, so here we go. We now have our lovely cube, and we're just gonna call this enemy because well he's gonna be chasing after us and he's the enemy so first of all before we do anything else let's just go on to our enemy player even though we're not actually on the player but let's be on the enemy all right and in the inspection go, uh, go to add component and type in ag now, you see something called Nav Mesh Agent, let's do that, and we've got all of this stuff, let's not worry about that at the moment though. What we need to worry about is, let's click on the plane, which is this thing right here, and go over to Navigation. Now, if you don't have Navigation, all you need to do is just go to a Window, and go to AI, and then just do Navigation, and you get Navigation right there. So. We've already got this uh, as a static object, so, yep, and it's walkable. So all you need to do is uh, go to bake, and then bake. So now, all around here, we can have this guy just walk around. So, now, we need to make a script so that he can follow us. So let's just do enemy or actually no let's just do baldy movement because this video is literally all about like how to do baldy movement in uh, unity so first of all let's go ahead and do using unity engine dot ai that is crucial if you don't have this then this will not function properly so now we can do nav mesh agent and actually, you know what? Uh, well, since this is going to be on the enemy, we don't need to have it serialized. So, another mesh agent, enemy. And now, let's actually, actually, we do need, though, a reference to the player object. So, let's just put in there player. And in void update, we can do enemy.set destination to player.transform.position now what this will do is it will tell the baldy player it will tell the baldy enemy to just go to me simple as that it will just literally do that so let's see how this goes so this thing is um, currently not moving Oh, yep, I realised why now. <laughs> I didn't even put the uh, baldy movement script on the enemy. I'm literally an idiot. <laughs> okay, so player, uh, let's put our first person controller in there. You can just put your own player in there. So now it will actually work. And here we are. He is currently following me, and he's actually pretty fast. Ah, my 
my god, it's actually really, 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 really fast. Oh my god, uh, this is scary. This is so scary. But yeah, he will. He's actually pushing me. He's gonna push me. Ah! Anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> so, we have now established that our uh, enemy is now currently working. So, let's make sure his speed is ramped up. So, let's just actually know what. Let's do acceleration to a hundred. Let's see how this goes. Oh, this is gonna go really badly. But, uh, he's not very fast. So you know what, let's just put his speed up to, actually let's put him up to 80. This is gonna be fast, bear in mind. Yep. <laughs> it's like, zoom, zoom. But now, now here is the best part. So, in our baldy script, we're gonna make sure that uh, he only moves very fast every bit of a second because that's how Bo a Baldy moves in Baldy's basics. He moves very fast in like a split second. So how are we going to do that? We are going to make a ball called Timer Active and we're going to make a float called Timer. So now uh, actually no, 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 we're gonna do, ah, yes, so, timer active, and we're gonna do cool down, timer active, now, you might be very, very confused on where the hell I'm even going with this, and it's gonna get even more confusing, but just bear with me, so, because we've got float timer, now we're gonna do cool down timer, and now, we can do, if, oh wait, uh, actually we need to do, inside of voice, uh, void start, we'll do, cooldown timer active is equal to true, and if the cooldown timer active is equal to true, then, we are going to do a uh, cooldown timer minus equals time dot delta time as always and the, the, the cooldown timer is going to actually be um, equal to let's say three seconds and the float timer is going to be equal to 0.1 F. So yeah, 0 0.1 seconds, and you'll see why. So, now if we do, uh, no, no, don't do that. Um, if cooldown timer is lower, lower than zero, then we will do uh, cooldown timer active is equal to false, and then, uh, timer active is equal to true, and now, here come the best part. We can just do if timer active is equal to true, uh, wait, wait, where's my cursor? There it is. We can do timer, uh, minus equals time dot delta time, and then... Uh, if time ma is lower than zero, then then we are going to make timer active is equal to ah uh, what was it ah uh, oh yeah of course it's false duh. false and then make cooldown time active equal to true again so it's like an ongoing cycle but we have forgotten something when the cooldown timer is lower than zero obviously the cooldown timer active will be false but i forgot that we need to make sure that the cooldown timer is equal back to three and with the timer we're going to make sure that the timer is equal back to 0 0.1 
wait, F. There we go. So, now, now it's going to get even more interesting. So, the enemy set destination will only be able to work if um, the nav mesh agent is on, right? So, okie dokie, welcome back. So, what I've done is, um, because... When we're starting the game, our cooldown timer is equal to 3, and our cooldown timer is already active, so, uh, which means uh, Baldy won't move automatically, but when the cooldown timer is lower than 0, then the timer will be active when Baldy can move for like a split second, so, when the cooldown timer is lower than 0 and Baldy is moving, then the enemy uh, which is the nav mesh agent is enabled and then when the timer is lower than zero then Baldy can't move anymore so enemy dot enabled is equal to false so when uh, the nav mesh agent is true then enemy dot set destination that happens so let's go ahead and actually see if this all works out shall we so let's just have this enemy open and in the inspector and Let's keep an eye on the nav mesh agent over here. So let's play the game right now. Okay, so he's currently moving. Okay, so there's something wrong with this already. <laughs> so we need to make sure that enemy dot enabled is false already. So let's just see if this works out, shall we? So um Wait, what? Is it work? Oh, it is as well, look! You can kind of see him very slowly moving. And you can also see over here that the tick is going off. Well, going on, then off. On, then off. Wait, what's happened to my mouse? But anyway, as you can see, he is kind of moving very fast. But... Now, what we want to do is, because in Baldi's Basics, if you've ever watched a video or played Baldi's Basics, then you can see that Baldi is always looking at you, no matter where or how, no matter how much you move around him, he's always looking at you. So simply, all you need to do is, in the updates, just do enemy.transform.lookat and just do player dot transform dot position that's all you need to do now he will always look at you so let's go ahead and have a look so let's just see this so he's currently looking at me so he's going that way and look he is constantly rotating toward me every single frame every single second he is constantly uh, turning toward me but now I want to make sure that he goes faster, so let's just turn that up to maybe a hundred, and maybe the acceleration to a thousand, maybe? Uh, let's just try this out, shall we? So, <gasps> let's see. How is this? Ooh, look at that. That is more like Baldy, everyone. That is more like Baldy. <laughs> I've made Baldy's basics, everyone. I have made... Baldy himself. He is he is moving very, very fast at a very slow rate. But yeah, that is how you make a Baldy. It's, it's kind of easy to make him, to be fair. Um, I always thought that it was very hard to make him, but it's actually pretty damn easy. All you need to do is just uh, re-enable the nav mesh agent and disable it and have the speed cranked all the way up and just have it enabled and disabled throughout a timer. That's all you need to do, it's super easy. So, let me just save this, and I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching everyone. If this all helped you out with maybe creating your own Baldy fan game, maybe, then I'm glad it all helped you out. If you, need any, if you, if you have any questions, then don't hesitate to ask, I will try to answer them and help you out as best as I can. But yeah, thanks for watching everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye, everybody.